you're working on this assignment, uh, Activity 7.4, and we're going to work on uh, Part 1. It's called the Jacklift Assembly. It looks like this. And we're going to start out by creating an assembly and then an exploded uh, presentation view uh, and finally a drawing that'll look like this, an exploded view drawing with the bill of materials. Uh, we'll uh, create a PDF of this and submit it to, to complete the assignment. Uh, we're, we're going to start out with an assembly that looks like this and you'll find it in your uh, the folder, your IED folder on your desktop. Uh, you'll find that uh, file inside uh, your IED folder on your desktop and it's in this folder and you'll be opening up this file here, this assembly file. Start out by opening up this assembly, the jack lift unassembled, it'll look like this and uh, start out by saving the file under your with uh, under the same name uh, but instead of us unassembled uh, put your own name there i'm going to start out by uh, going to constraints and i'm going to uh, make that face to this face hit apply and uh, constrain uh, this plane to uh, this plane. And hit apply. And if you know this, the part now will slide on this, will move from left to right, but it'll stay on this surface. Next, we're going to uh, constrain uh, this surface of the spacer with uh, this surface of the screw. Hit apply. Constrain this axis to the axis of the screw. Hit apply. We're going to uh, constrain uh, this face, the face of the spacer, to this face here. Hit apply. I'm going to raise the part. And cancel. I'm going to raise the part up so I can see it a little bit clearer and move this part out of the way. I'm going to constrain this face, uh, this. Uh, work plane to this work plane here so it'll, the screw will line up with the hole. Constrain uh, this that work plane with uh, this work plane. Hit apply. Now you can see that the uh, screw moves up and down as you move the, uh, the wedge in and out. The, the screw moves up and down, but it moves to side to side, so we need to constrain, um, add one more constraint, uh, constrain that work, work plane to this work plane here. Apply. And now you can see that the the two are aligned. If you look at the um, completely cons constrained except uh, horizontally as you move the wedge and the screw moves up and down. A one drain that surface to this surface. Hit apply and then constrain the uh, this axis to this axis. Hit apply. 
cancel and you're done with the assembly. Uh, before you go any further, you're going to want to uh, set this as your front view. Uh, navigate to this view, come here and select set current view as front and you want your isometric to look like that. I'm going to uh, save this. And I'm going to create a new presentation. And uh, just place my current view, the, which will be this. I'm going to uh, tweak this. I'm going to select select these two parts, that part and that part, and then in terms of the direction I'm just going to move uh, the, uh, both parts out, hit clear, select components again, select that part, and then the direction, the same. Select this part and the direction straight up. Hit clear. And there's just one part left. This washer, select the washer, and then the direction. Choose straight up. Uh, before I exit this file, I'm going to uh, set this view as my this view as my front view, and then save. To create a new drawing. I'm going to place my base view. It will be my front view. And I'm going to increase the scale at, uh, to 2 to 1. Place my view. Hit escape and then uh, position my view in the center. I'm going to place an isometric up here. I'm going to go to my uh, base view and I'm going to look for my uh, assembled part, my assembly. I'm going to place an ISO. I'm going to set the scale at 1 to 1. I'm going to turn on shading and set my uh, ISO view right there. The shading didn't turn on. I'm going to turn on shading and OK for this. So I'm going to uh, annotate it by adding a bill of material, a parts list. I'm going to point to this view. Hit OK. I'll position my parts list uh, right about there. I'm going to uh, double click on it and edit it. I'm going to uh, choose this icon here and I'm going to remove the part number. I'm not going to use that. Hit OK. And then OK again. I'm going to edit the, my column widths. I'm going to position my cursor here, move this column in a little bit closer, and here move this column in a little bit smaller. And then this column I'm going to make wider. And uh, by clicking here towards the bottom, I could move my build material and place it there. I'm going to add uh, balloons, point to these parts. Continue.
uh, hit escape to uh, stop that operation. I'm going to double click on the title right here of this drawing. Right click and select eye properties. If I go into summary I could uh, change the title. Use all caps. I'm going to export this to PDF. And submit the drawing to LMS to, to complete the assignment.